Hey everyone, and welcome back to our NREMT paramedic exam prep show. These 30 practice questions cover a selection of content on special populations like neonatal, pediatrics, and geriatrics. For hundreds of more questions like these, make sure you get Brainscape's NREMT paramedic flashcards. Okay, let's get started. Question one, define the term primi gravida. Being pregnant for the first time. Question two, define the term multi gravida. having had more than one pregnancy. Question three, define the term nullipara. Having never given birth before. Question four, what are the five signs of true labor? Regularly spaced contractions, the shortening interval between contractions, increasingly intense contractions, analgesics don't help, and progressive dilation. Question five, what is supine hypotensive syndrome? Hypotension in pregnant people caused by lying in a supine position. This compresses the inferior vena cava, leading to a decreased venous return centrally. The treatment is to lie in a left lateral positioning. Question six, what are three signs of preeclampsia? Peripheral edema, hypertension, and proteinuria. Question seven, what is eclampsia? Eclampsia is a rare condition in which a pregnant or postpartum person suddenly experiences seizures caused by hypertension. Question eight, what is considered hypertension in pregnancy? A systolic pressure of 160 to 180 over a diastolic pressure of 105. Question nine, what are five treatment measures for hyperemesis gravidarum? 100% oxygen non-rebreather mask, fluid bolus of 250 milliliters, 10 to 50 milligrams of diphenhydramine, administered intravenously or by intramuscular injection, blood glucose level management, and the monitoring of orthostatic vitals. Question 10, what is RH sensitization? When the fetus is RH positive and the mother RH negative, RH sensitization can produce maternal antibody isoimmunization, causing the mother's immune system to attack the fetus. Let's take a quick study break to remind you to drink plenty of water throughout your day. Proper hydration is critical for good cognitive functioning, which you'll appreciate when you're trying to learn all of this medical content for the NREMT paramedic exam. Taking care of your brain will make you a better learner and a faster decision maker in the field. So develop the right habits today. Now back to the questions. Question 11, what interaction is expected in pediatric patients between the ages of two and six months? Children of this age should be able to make eye contact, use both hands, roll over, and sleep through the night. Question 12, what are some airway considerations for pediatrics? Pediatrics have short necks, smaller airways, long and floppy epiglottis, and a very soft and collapsible neck. It's important to keep the nares clear if less than six months old and to avoid hyperextending the neck. Question 13, what considerations are present for the chest and lungs of a pediatric patient? Pediatrics have a very thin chest wall. Their ribs are more pliable and it's easier to hear their heart and lung sounds. Question 14, what is modeling of the skin indicative of in pediatrics? Vasoconstriction and vasodilation. Question 15, what does acrocyanosis mean? a persistent, painless, bluish discoloration of the hands and, less commonly, the feet. Acrocyanosis is caused by the spasm of the small blood vessels within the skin, usually in response to cold or emotional stress. Question 16, what is the most common cause of seizures in pediatrics? Fever. Question 17, what are the first four steps to be taken in caring for a newborn? Warm, dry, 
Stimulate suction. Question 18. How do you ensure thermoregulation after delivery? Use pre-warmed towels and a radiant warmer. Dry the body and head. Cover the infant with a dry towel and cover their head with a cap. Question 19. What blood glucose level is considered hypoglycemic in a newborn? Less than 40 milligrams per deciliter. Question 20. What is a ventricular septal defect? A congenital heart defect, characterized by an abnormal opening in the wall between the main pumping chambers of the heart, sometimes referred to as having a hole in the heart. This causes the left ventricle to force blood back into the right ventricle, which can lead to pulmonary hypertension. Okay, time for another quick study break. If you're loving the challenge I've set you with these practice questions, You'll find hundreds more with illustrations in Brainscape's adaptive mobile flashcards for the NREMT paramedic exam. Make sure you download those so that you can efficiently study anytime and anywhere, and you will crush the paramedic exam. Let's get back to answering more questions. Question 21, what is a geriatric patient? A patient over the age of 65 years. Question 22, over time, what are some common changes that occur in the digestive system? There is a decrease in taste buds affecting taste perception, increase in heartburn due to a more flexible pyloric sphincter, slowing of peristalsis, causing constipation, hepatic enzymes decrease in the liver, making it harder to metabolize medications. Question 23. Over time, what are some common changes that occur in the respiratory system? There is a decrease in lung elasticity, lung compliance, reserve capacity, the number of alveoli, and the size of the muscles. Geriatric patients may also develop a curvature of the spine and be more prone to infections. Question 24. What is dementia? The progressive loss of cognitive function, memory, visual perception, and cognitive skills. Question 25, what is Parkinson's disease? Parkinson's disease is a neurological disorder with two or more of the following symptoms, resting tremor, slowness of movement, rigidity, and or stiffness of the extremities or trunk. Question 26, what is post-fall syndrome? Anxiety about future falls and a lack of confidence caused by a previous fall. Question 27. What are a few signs and symptoms of neglect or abuse in children? The child does not become agitated, does not look for reassurance, cries excessively or not at all. Question 28. What are Mongolian spots? Congenital birthmarks that are a bluish green to black in color, with an oval to irregular shape. Because they resemble bruising, they can sometimes be confused with abuse. Question 29. What type of patients typically have apnea monitors? Infants that are at a high risk of SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome. Question 30. What is dysarthria? Difficulty speaking and speech impairment caused by neurological injury to the motor component of the motor speech system. That's the end of our exam prep show on special populations like neonatal, pediatrics, and geriatrics. To reach full mastery, remember to study using Brainscape. Our mobile and web app utilizes the latest in spaced repetition techniques, allowing you to optimize your study time and track your progress in great detail. Of course, when you're driving, cooking, exercising, or otherwise unable to navigate the app, be sure to keep listening to the rest of this hands-free studying playlist. No matter what subject you're learning or what method you're using, Brainscape helps you rise to your challenge.